Great. So now we're going to move on to your Instagram account call to action. Now, for those of you without a marketing background, a call to action, as you can read on the screen, is an instruction to the audience to provoke an immediate response, usually using an imperative verb such as call now, or find out more, or visit a store today, or even a buy now. They're all call to actions because you're calling for the user to take an action after reading whatever it is you present them with. So why do we want to call to action on our Instagram accounts? It's because we want to convert people from followers on our account to take an action that provides us a little more value, maybe signing up to an email list or buying a product. So I'm actually going into real depth on this subject in module five of this course. But I just wanted to round out our Instagram bio and have a rough draft in there. So don't put too much time or focus into this because we are coming back to it in great detail in module five. But right now, I'm going to show you how to get a rough draft of your call to action and how to know what the right call to action for your account is. So let's get into this. So on the screen now, you'll be able to see three example accounts. And within the bio of each of these accounts are different call to actions based on whatever the user wants their followers to do. So the first one on the far left is Drew Canoli, and he has a FitLife TV business. And as you can see at the bottom of his bio, highlighted in the red box, is grab the organic superfood green juice here and a downward arrow to his URL. And from this URL, you can actually buy the green juice. The middle account has Ashley Bias's call to action highlighted in the red box. And as you can see, she supplied an email address for business communication. So anyone who wants to reach out and potentially hire her for her makeup work can reach her at this email address. You may also notice she has a secondary call to action, which I don't really recommend. I honestly think having one streamlined call to action is far stronger than two, but she also is cross promoting her Snapchat, which is another form of social media, and she has her username there. And similar to Ashley, in the third profile on the right, which you'll recognize as my own, I'm asking people to follow me on Snapchat. As you can see highlighted by the red box, my call to action is simply add me on Snapchat, and then I give my username. So let's talk about popular call to actions on Instagram and which one is right for your business. So. What I want you to do in this exercise, I want you to choose one of these call to actions listed on the screen or even another call to action that you may be thinking of that is suitable for your business and implement it into the last line of your bio. So let me go through a couple of them now. So you may want people to go from your Instagram account to join your newsletter or your email list. So what you do is you'd leave the link in the website section of your Instagram profile and the last line your bio would be don't forget to sign up for our newsletter here or check out our newsletter here or join our email list here. And that, that'll be your call to action and they can take action on that by clicking the link. Another one, which is a little bit of more demanding and I wouldn't recommend it straight out of the gate, but you could have a link to your products or services and say, check out our products or services here. You could also have a lead magnet, so a free giveaway, similar to Drew Canoli had the juice recipe. You can have a link to your free product, and in exchange, they can give you their email address, and they can download the free product, or you can send that to them. Some people also have call to actions within the Instagram app, meaning the call to action is to like the pictures on your Instagram profile, or even just to follow your Instagram account, and this might increase the ratio of people following you once they get to your Instagram profile page. So these two are also very popular. A simple sentence like, don't forget to like our pictures or follow our account for awesome updates is a really cool call to action for your Instagram profile. And finally, if none of the above suit, try and cross promote other social media. So once someone discovers you on Instagram, you may have a link to your Facebook page or even a link to your Twitter and say, follow us on Twitter or Facebook to make sure you don't miss out on anything going on over there. Obviously, have your words a little bit more succinct, but just a call to action for, to another social media account, similar to my call to action for Snapchat. So this is just a list of potential call to actions that you can do for your account. Once again, in module five, I'm really breaking down how to get people from your Instagram profile to buying your services and buying your products and paying you. And what I'm gonna do over there is talk through exactly the best call to actions for this to work and go a little more into detail of how you can offer value for people taking these call to actions. 
So the last thing I want to show you is exactly how to implement your call to action with the URL that Instagram allow you to use on your profile. So once again, we'll go to the options page once more, edit profile like always. And up here you can see uh, the website, the area where you can put your URL to go to a website or a squeeze page or anything that you want to market. And this is the only clickable link you can ever put on Instagram. It doesn't matter how many photos you post or whatever. This is the only way you can actually get people to click a link directly on Instagram and be let out. Other than that, they have to actually copy and paste things. So this link is really important and it's great to have on the end of your call to action so people can actually just click the link and take action on whatever you're asking them to do. So I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, the bottom line, my current call to action is add, add my Snapchat, Benji Blue. I'm just going to change it really quickly just to show you guys that you can have the last... You can have the last line referring to your URL on your Instagram bio. So you can write, check out my website. You could probably write, check out my products or check out my services. And you click done. As you can see, if we go back to the profile, it says check out my website. And then it's on the very next line is the link to your website where people can click straight through and actually see your website. So once again, I'm gonna go over all this call to actions in really fine detail, making sure your process is streamlined from getting people to follow your account to getting people to get onto your website and buy your products and services. This is all in module five, and this basically wraps up module two. So congratulations on getting this far.